Hey everybody, welcome back to Willie's Truck, episode three. Today we're gonna to be working on getting some of these dents out. Uh, I brought a plethora of hammers and tools to kind of show you a little bit about what we do. You have your normal hammer and dolly set. With the combination of the two, you can use the flatten out sheet metal and or shape it as needed. Um, a lot of different shapes, styles, corners. That there's a shrinking hammer. Can be used to help to shrink a panel if you have too much of a crown. Um, pinpoints, flats, several different dollies. My favorite, pretty much be in the heel. I use this almost for everything. In addition to that, I brought the motivator. <laughs> this was a soft faced hammer that I cast lead ends. This thing will move about anything with very little effort. Um, can move a little too much at times. In addition to the hard dollies, by the way, forgive my mic setup, my ghetto fab mic setup. Unfortunately, iPhone doesn't support Bluetooth mics yet. One of my favorites is a lead dolly. This is one of the f old faces off of that. I like the lead because it provides a little bit more traction and anytime you move or beat sheet metal, you are either shrinking or stretching. Especially when you're beating it against two hard flat surfaces, you're essentially making that material thinner and stretching it. We want to minimize the stretch. This is going to be a little bit more forgiving because of the multiple crown. I have compound angles here. It's a little less susceptible. Now, if I had a perfectly flat panel, every little bit of stretch is going to show and it's going to oil can and, and be very, very difficult to straighten out. That's where you're going to have to shrink. I don't think I'm going to need to shrink this a lot. So combination of those I have a port of power for this crease this crease is going to give me a little bit of fits just try to straighten that out without significant stretch luckily it's right on the corner and I think it won't be too bad so uh, let's shut up and get to it All right, so this was a little bit of unforeseen uh, issue. Set up the port of power to start pushing on that crease. And their lovely repair started separating. So I'm essentially pushing the floor away from the cab. So I guess we're going to be pushing that dead out after we start to fix the floor. Yay. So the port of power is pretty much out at this point. Uh, 
I guess we're gonna try the motivator. See how that goes. Ha. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have right now. I gotta get rolling. Uh, but, got her pretty well roughed in. Let me flip this camera around. Got her pretty well roughed in. It's, I have a long way to go, but I'm pretty happy with where it's at right now. She's uh, looking fairly decent. A little bit more along the header. I did find a little bit more rot right up here in the header. And take my headlamp. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that just yummy? Yeah. So, my ultimate goal is to have this thing to the point that I can just use a filler primer. I may still need to use a little bit of a skim coat. Don't want to, but it is what it is. It's pretty rough. But we'll see, uh, we'll work on it a little bit more as time allows and uh, go from there. Thanks for watching. Hope, uh, hope you learned something. Hope you're at least entertained. If, uh, if so, give me a like and subscribe and uh, see you next week.